The coronavirus masks will be required for all students and teachers at all Chico Unified Schools in the fall. New tonight, Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso explains that parents were frustrated over the mask mandate even though it is required statewide. Here at Pleasant Valley High School, right behind those doors are where the Chico Unified School Board gathered and agreed upon a reopening plan that aligns with the state's public health mandate that requires all students to wear a mask indoors. Unmask our kids! Unmask our kids! CDPH is requiring all students and teachers, regardless of vaccination status, to wear a mask indoors. But several parents came to show their frustration over sending their children to school another year with a face covering. I don't see that it's right. All, I mean, all of our stores, you can go into any store in town right now with no mask on and there's no one saying anything. Feel this, it feels all awkward. It feels different. It doesn't feel like normal. Oh, look at that. But parents should have the right to choose what's best for their child. I don't think that it's the right thing to do. Parents should choose. As soon as students step foot on campus, they don't have to wear a mask. It isn't until they get into the classroom where a mask is required and I spoke to one parent who tells me before he allows his child to walk into a classroom without a mask he wants to see more vaccinations and fewer cases of the virus. I just felt feel like getting 30 kids in a small enclosed room shoulder to shoulder without having the opportunity to get a vaccination or to protect themselves is just irresponsible right now. Right now, only students age 12 and up, like incoming junior Marissa Methventeri, can get the vaccine. The mask itself did not bother me a whole lot. What bothered me was uh, the partial learning. Masks don't prove to be an obstacle. So close to the finish line, it's just not a great time to take our foot off the gas with this. Part of the agreement on the reopening plan was to allow for a special meeting between the board next month where any possible changes would be made. In Chico, Esteban Reynoso, Action News Now coverage you can count on.